Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I've been asked to review Eclecticism, the recent four-song EP by fairly new band Paper Dad. This was brought to my attention by David Traster, former drummer of Room 6 alumni Wyatt and the Ashes. If you'd like to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using the email address or social media link down in the description. That's also where you'll find all sorts of ways to support the channel, and while you're down there, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks! Now then, on to the review! Spoiler warning, I hear this one has piano in it. Gotcha. This video is brought to you by U Gears. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's video. The album kicks off with the redundantly named It's Only Good Vibes Only. Coming out swinging, this track builds from a simple piano melody into something full of high energy, raw emotion, and some serious Ben Folds 5 flashbacks tinged with emo energy. There's a nice contrast between the beautiful instrumentation and the angry vocals that is moving and serves to highlight lyrics like, You never go home empty, embarrassed or ashamed. We will build this foolish empire until they know our name. City lights, their raging embers, the fuel for the flame. This whole scene is on fire, but you're still listening. The next track is Make It a Blockbuster Night. An obvious reference for those of us of a certain age. Hello, darkness, my old friend. The shortest track on the album, this one is all about what happened last night. Full of atmospheric and building orchestration that is a solid backdrop to stories told by multiple voicemails ranging from honest to hilarious. This one is less a traditional song and more a showcase of the band's mastery of dynamics and an understanding of what people really hear when listening to music. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. You know what I love most about things like guitars? The engineering. All these parts separately do nothing, but together, they make something capable of inspiring and motivating creative thought and emotional content. We need emotional content. That's why I love U-Gears. Their amazing 3D self-assembly models are fun to assemble, as well as educational. They can also serve as decorative pieces. Although the kits come with clear step-by-step -step instruction, they can also be used as puzzles. Inspired by steampunk fantasy, there's a clear view of all the moving components, including gears and pendulums, and it creates a unique, unforgettable, and fascinating look at everyday, and not so everyday, machinery. To top it all off, 10% of every purchase is being donated to the people of Ukraine who have been affected by the current conflict. Just for watching this video, and for being part of Room 6, and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off your order. Just enter coupon code SHOP10 at checkout. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to you, Gears, for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show, shall we? Changing things up a bit, the second to last song is Flowers. A confessional letter written to someone who will miss its author, where the first song was only tinged with emo energy, this one is positively drowning in it. Giving vibes of Linkin Park's music from a Transformers movie, there's so many powerful moments in this track, it's hard to not have memories of past regrets, dredged up by lyrics like, I live with the ghost of the man I killed last fall, and he looks just like me. My heart is empty, my lungs fill with water, and my sight escapes me. You'll never read this, but I don't want you to forget the good and the bad. I want you to keep them all. Injecting a little bit of upbeat to things, the album finishes up with Drowning. A lighthearted piano riff that reminds me of Sarah Boreas opens things up before the band kicks into a pop-punk tale all about the search for purpose and meaning in life. Where the rest of the album creates introspection in the listener, this one seems destined to inspire one to get up and get moving. 
with lyrics like, And mark my words, I swear I won't come back until I've found the purpose of my life, no matter how boring or profound. I swear I'll never sleep in a bed that wasn't mine and think about you all the time. Overall, Eclecticism by Paper Dad is a great cross-section of the band's talents and influences. I can't wait to see them live, and I'm so glad they asked me to check it out. I think you'll be uh, glad you checked it out too. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you'll click the link down in the description to get your own copy of Eclecticism by Paper Dad. It's a great album. I'm looking forward to interviewing them sometime in the near future. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe, click up there, ring the bell, you know the drill. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.